Hey y'all, I'm Val from Our Forever Farm. I'm so glad you're here. Like, share, subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. We're really growing, y'all. I think it's over 73,000 and I've got over 300 videos on. So y'all go check all of those out. Today we're making a make ahead spaghetti pie. I've got two pie plates. You can use the disposable ones. If I had them, I would be using that. I like to save those. I also like to save containers like this. I used to think when my grandparents did that, I thought, oh my goodness, why would you do that? And now with the price of containers that you buy in the store, my goodness, why wouldn't you do it, right? Uh, so like cottage cheese, sour cream, different things like that. I mean, just, I have masking tape. I'll show you right here. I've got masking tape and a Sharpie right here. I just put what I have in it in the refrigerator or the freezer. It works great. Just don't let it get lost in there and rotate your refrigerator and, and freezer just like you do your pantry. So today, like I said, we are making make-ahead spaghetti pie. Now, I'm not putting meat in mine, not for any reason, except I don't want to brown the meat. And I don't think I have any more in the freezer that's done. I'm just going to make, uh, and the recipe doesn't even call for meat because it's got the protein. It's got the cottage cheese in it. It's got the other cheeses in it. I've got this jar of spaghetti. It's got lasagna noodles and everything in here. It calls for 12 ounces of spaghetti. But I am going to guess at it. I've got my water on the stove boiling. I'm just going to cook our spaghetti like you normally would. I like to break these up into small pieces, just bite-sized pieces where it'll be easier to eat and it'll be quicker to cook. As you add that spaghetti, the water will cool down and then all you have to do is bring it back to a boil and get the spaghetti done, just like you would when you're cooking spaghetti. You can actually use any noodles in this, but it is called spaghetti pie, so that's why we're using spaghetti. Y'all, I cannot tell you how good this dish is. Boy Hunter called me outside and he said, hurry, I have a big flathead. He said, I wanted, to, I wanted me to see it. Flathead's a catfish in case you didn't know. So I turned everything off. I ran outside, got my boots, ran straight down to the dock and he lost it. Right when I got there, it wrapped around a pole. Shoot. But right now I want to tell you what we're going to need for this recipe. We're going to need three tablespoons of butter. We're gonna need three ounces of Parmesan cheese. Now, I don't have any fresh, that would be delicious, but I'm just using what I have. We're gonna use three eggs beaten. We're gonna use two and a quarter cups of cottage cheese. We're gonna use three cups of spaghetti sauce. You can make your own if you want to. I'm doing a quick spaghetti pie. We're gonna use six ounces of mozzarella cheese. Thankfully, I had that in the refrigerator. Otherwise, I would have used what I have. Whew, I'm still out of breath. 68 and can still run. Go Val, right? Our spaghetti is about done. I'm going to get my butter ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my spaghetti in a colander. I'm going to toss the spaghetti noodles into three tablespoons of butter in the same pan because I don't like to wash dishes. You probably can't see it for the steam. So then I quickly put my spaghetti noodles right back in my pan. Then I'm gonna take about three tablespoons of butter. Y'all know me, I don't measure. Butter is always in order. And then I'm just gonna to toss this spaghetti noodles in the butter. So we're making butter noodles. So next we're gonna crack three eggs and add them to the spaghetti mix. We're gonna add about three ounces of Parmesan cheese. I'm just guessing. Y'all, we were supposed to beat those eggs before we put them in, but I can do it right here, no problem. And we're just gonna stir this up. It smells so good already. If your Parmesan has lumps in it like mine does, get those lumps out. So we've got our Parmesan, our butter, and our eggs and the cooked spaghetti noodles in the pan. Now we're gonna grease this pie plate 
with some butter and i'm just using my gloves only because of the filming and i just don't want to get messy you could probably also spray this but just butter your pan really good so remember this will make two pie plates of spaghetti pie so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to split this spaghetti up into two different pie plates fresh parmesan would be so good in this I didn't have it and I'm using what I have, but that butter will make this heavenly. So I've put half of the spaghetti in the pie plate. Remember, it's got the Parmesan, it's got the eggs, and it has the butter. Putting the cottage cheese on it, we're just gonna do a layer of that. The recipe calls for two and a quarter cups and that's for uh, both pies. I'm just spreading the layer on here. This is gonna be so good, y'all. Just in case you haven't realized, those eggs with the spaghetti noodles will make a crust. Now I'm just using bought spaghetti sauce. We're gonna add a cup and a half to each pie and we're gonna spread it over for the next layer. But if you have your own spaghetti sauce, use that. Oh, that'll make it that much better. Now we're just adding our mozzarella cheese. And you can use any cheese. Mozzarella is the best. This is just a simple lunch. You can serve this with garlic bread and salad. That's probably what I'm going to do. Now our oven is preheated to 350. This is ready to go in the oven. We're going to leave this in the oven for about 40 minutes. I, I like to place my pie plate on the iron skillet in case it does spill out. While we're waiting on the pie, I want to show you what our granddaughter did. She's making candies and cookies. She makes them for every holiday. This was for Easter. I want to show you. So she called Sweet Hunter to see if he wanted to buy me some. She called me to see if I wanted to buy him some. So we ended up with two jars. I'll show you how she custom made them. So us. I just want to show you some of the custom M&Ms that she made. They are so cute. Look at there. She knows I love Coke. Coca-Cola. She knows I love birds. Our Forever Farm. Hey, y'all. Sweet Hunter. Look at that. Fish. Birds. So cute. Somewhere in here, there is his Corvette. Or one of his Corvettes, anyway. But these are the cutest thing. Oh, the subscribe button. Where is it? Let's see. I just saw it. Yeah, subscribe button for YouTube. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Y'all, I've got about five minutes to go on the spaghetti pies. I wanted to show you this. It was gifted to me. Uh, this is an infinity sponge. I can't wait to use it. This is a mason jar pitcher. I think it's 32 ounces. This is from Marletta and Alicia. Thank y'all. I love it. I'm going to put the sponge over at my sink now. This is great. Thank you. And thank you, Alyssa, for the M&M. I've got one more thank you to do to Patty Martin. Look at this beautiful photo she sent. It looks just like our place. Is that not beautiful? That is so pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but thank you, Patty. Now that we got that done, and I love gifts, y'all. I just love them. And um, I've got my garlic bread ready to put in. My spaghetti pie, the timer's fixing to go off. 40 minutes at 350, uncovered. And then it has to sit for five minutes. So by the time I get the bread done, I've got the salad on the table, and I get drinks, everything will be ready. Okay, let's check and see if our spaghetti pies are ready. The timer has went off. That looks delicious oh, you should smell it does that not look delicious oh my goodness here's the other one i'm gonna put my bread in so i'm gonna put it on broil i'm gonna let these sit for five minutes i'm not really sure i'm gonna be able to wait on sweet hunter i couldn't even wait the five minutes y'all but if you wait five minutes or a little bit longer, this will actually cut just like a pie. 
Then you can just use a spatula or whatever you would use for a pie. So I'm going to do a taste test. Sweet Hunter's not in from outside yet, but I can go ahead and tell you this is absolutely delicious. And you all ought to try it. It's so good and it's so easy. It's very hot too. So good. Delicious. Y'all go cook something. Test, test. So once our water gets to boiling, I'm going to raise up this light. So once our water, I guess it's the, what is it? It's the windows. Okay, let's see if we can fix that. My glasses. Still doing it. Mm. Okay, our big. I, <laughs> I like to place my pie shit, my pie. Okay, let's check our. Uh, we're going to use three with. Tomatoes. Are these tomatoes out? 